Hello, welcome back to my channel. First of all, let me start by saying that I'm so sorry that this video has taken this long. Uh, I think we've all been quite busy with like quarantine and homeschooling and just life in itself. But I am really sorry. I have been meaning to film this video for maybe six months and I, I just haven't got around to it. I'm so sorry. But I'm here. I had a few mums email me and ask me to film this, make an update on their speech. And here I am. I've got a few things I've written down. So I have a list of things that I want to discuss, things that I found useful and that I'm doing to help him. So Bear is now two and a half. So he'll be three in two months. And at this point, children of his age should say at least 50 words and they'd be able to say two word sentences. The only two words that Bear can say together are something please. That's it. There's nothing else that he can say um, with another word. And it, it was quite concerning. I mean, it still is. Uh, because of lockdown he's not yet had his two-year review which you normally have a couple of months after they are two we haven't received that letter and i have called the gp and they told me that it was with my health visitor and it's it's been a little bit chaotic we did have one speech therapy session and they basically said that he was slightly too small at that time and then time just went on and then everything happened and of course no one's been able to leave or do anything and this was I guess more of an irrelevant appointment so let me just say things that he can say he can say things like mama dada he can say lily he can say please and ta he can say like, but then everything else is mainly noises. He can make different animal noises. Uh, he, he's really good at making himself understood. I know if he wants breakfast because of a different noise that he'll make, or if he wants a snack, if he wants an apple, he'll make like a biting noise. And that's like him saying apple. If he wants a banana, he'll do like a little minion dance. And that's a banana for him. He can like make dinosaur noises and just like things like that. He can say blue, uh, but that's the only color that he can say. And if you ask him like, what color is this? He'll always just say blue. Hopefully in September when everything just settles down, we'll be able to go to a speech therapist and see what they think. We were quite concerned about, could it be autism? Could it just be a speech delay? Like we, we just don't know because we're not professionals, but I have looked into different traits from like autism and speech delay and he doesn't have a lot of the symptoms i guess from autism like it's pretty much just his speech he's really good at like playing with his sister he's really good at making him himself understood even with her he's not very fussy in any other way apart from he just doesn't want to talk like sometimes i think he just genuinely doesn't want to However, we successfully took his dummy off. He was basically only having his dummy at night time. He's always done that. Yeah, basically, since he was born, he's only ever had dummy for bedtime, nap time, and that's basically it. And then he would just have it, like he would have one nap a day and one um, bedtime. <laughs> but we took the dummy off it was a week of hard consistent nose and it was a little bit hard and it took him a little while to get to sleep but eventually he was just quite settled without it and it was great he had a little stuffed dog that my mum bought him from holiday and he just sort of traded the dummy for that which was lovely Potty training. So I'm actually looking to do a more in-depth video on this because, I mean, touch wood, but I found it quite easy with both my children and it was something that was giving me a lot of anxiety both times. And I mean, 
they got it within the first lily got it in one day and bear it took a little bit longer a few days for him to get like poo poos <laughs> um how mature <laughs> what other word can you use number twos for him to get number twos it took him like a, a couple of days longer but wee wees he was doing them within like the first day so i think i've got really good tips and tricks on how i could i mean hopefully help somebody because it's quite a daunting thing and even if you've done it before it's still quite intimidating to potty train and he does still have a nappy at night time and absolutely minimal accidents i don't carry like potties with me around i know that loads of parents have like portable potties i didn't do that and i've actually not even put him on the potty i put him straight into the toilet i did that with lily as well i just thought it was an unnecessary extra step to train him to go into the potty and then from the potty go into the toilet we just bought him some steps and then put him straight into the toilet he still lets me know every single time he needs to go which is fine so he's not independent in that sense yet where he just goes himself pull. but does any two-year-old pull his pants down and go to the toilet i'm not sure but he doesn't so the only like serious concern still is still his speech and i know that lots of mums are going through the same thing so hopefully this video just shows you that you know i'm on the same boat and it's okay there's <laughs> really nothing else i can say i mean it, it's it's daunting it is i don't know what's going to happen i don't know if it could be something more serious or yeah but thank you so much for watching this please subscribe i will do more updates probably in september i'll have another video so next month i will have a video on the speech therapist see how that went and until my next video i'll see you soon bye